it was sort of going through a decision to before I decided to come to this conference because uh, I come mostly from the technical uh, world of AI, uh, but uh, then by seeing the type of people who are coming here and the type of panels, I found it very interesting because it essentially, uh, I thought it will give me the opportunity to really hear out from the real people, the real people who are doing the asset management and other things, how do they see the AI can help, and also to know their real problems, their approach towards alternate data, all those various stuff. So it is pretty much a learning experience for me too. In IBM, we surely have a great strategy for artificial intelligence, and actually, I'm not probably, you know, uh, I mean, really entitled to say everything, but I can talk about a couple of very good products, what we have uh, towards AI. Like IBM has just uh, released AI OpenScale uh, a month before, which essentially a platform using which one can integrate multiple AI products, which is uh, coming from IBM, like say, products like Watson, as well as the products which are outside of IBM, but all those things can be integrated pretty much in the AI open scale for an end-to-end solution. And apart from that, we also have Watson Studio, which right now available in the cloud. It is available on-prem. It is even, we are also coming out with the uh, personal version of the Watson Studio, uh, which is also a great tool to create an end-to-end AI solution, especially the machine learning part of it. I basically work as a data scientist thought leader for uh, IBM uh, Cloud Lab, uh, the analytics part of the IBM Cloud Lab. And um, my role is essentially to uh, help our customers adopt AI. Uh, as uh, I mean, everybody knows right now, it is, it is still pretty much on the fa you know, infancy of the things. So my role is to really you know, understand their requirements, where they can apply AI, what are the uh, IBM tools can be used for them, even open source tools. So there where I come into the picture. Before coming to this conference, probably, I didn't even realize this much. But after uh, going through this conference for last almost uh, one, a half, one and a half day, I think it is a lot starting from the how one can really curate the uh, alternate data, which are typically pretty much you know, in the raw form, then starting from there, how to do the feature engineering to really map it to the right level of relevance, whether it is quant or whether it is more of fundamental products, uh, those type of stuff. Uh, see, I've also picked up these great terminologies just you know, from this uh, conference. So um, I, I see that it would be uh, a lot uh, useful to use AI uh, to come out with the right type of product, especially for the products which, uh, which are essentially a little bit short term. Because in that case, the AI can provide a great insight by consuming all the data, crunching them in an automated way, much more intelligent way, in a much lesser time frame. There where I say there should be a great value.